Now, first off, you might be wondering why even bother learning your shortcuts in the beginning? And shortcuts, from my perspective, are the fastest way to double your productivity in PowerPoint even if you aren't doing things the best or fastest way yet. So this is the least amount of time investment on your t your part to get the most results or the quickest results possible. I'm gonna give you a couple of examples of how some hacks, tricks, and shortcuts or strategies can be even faster than shortcuts in just a second. But first off, if you're brand new to shortcuts, this is a little bit like riding a bike. It can feel a little bit overwhelming at first, but once you're up on that bike, I guarantee you will never be able to go back to using PowerPoint the old way again, because with your keyboard shortcuts, as your brain thinks that your fingers are gonna hit it, you're gonna move on to your next task to the point where it almost becomes economic suicide for your companies not to put you on the best projects or the best pitches because you'll be able to crank through so much more material, not only more quickly, but more perfectly. And just as a quick bonus tip, as I go through this course, you might see a number of shortcuts on screen that you wanna screen clip. Your screen clipping shortcut in, um, not PowerPoint, in uh, Microsoft Office is Windows Shift S, or I should say in Windows. So if I just come into PowerPoint really quickly, if I hit Windows Shift S, you're gonna see my screen um, grayed out. You simply click and drag, Control V to paste, will paste in that keyboard shortcut. So if you see something throughout this course that you wanna quickly screen clip um, without having to write it down, Windows Shift S. Also, if you have a question, please type that in, but I'm gonna save all of the questions until the very end. Um, and I'm gonna try to keep those as focused as possible on shortcuts. So if you have shortcut questions, type those in. I'm happy to go through as many of those as many of those as I can at the end of this course. Now here's just a quick overview of the shortcut mountain you're gonna climb up. We're gonna start here with our hold shortcuts, and this is where most people basically stop. This is all the shortcuts that most people know, but as we do this, I'm gonna show you how you can build off of this foundation and work yourself up to what I consider true shortcut mastery. So this is where you're able to actually use all of the different styles of shortcuts to fast track anything and everything you're currently doing in Microsoft PowerPoint. Again, the hold shortcuts is kind of the foundation where most people get stuck, but I'm gonna give you some clever um, strategies to kind of learn these types of shortcuts faster. And then you have this top portion, which most people never get to, which has the benefit of being what I call visible keyboard shortcuts. So the vast majority of these, you do not need to memorize to start immediately taking advantage of them. Instead, you can think of them as disposable shortcuts. So as you're working on a project, if you're doing um, a certain task, maybe you're flipping back and forth between your slide master and the normal view, or maybe you need to do a bunch of stuff with comments, you can basically set these up or pick these up kind of like chopsticks, use them for whatever you're currently doing, and then forget about them until you need them again. So it's a pretty cool technique, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And shortcuts like this is what I really consider the 1% difference, all right? You're working in PowerPoint, you're working in Excel, you're working in Word anyway, just using shortcuts, this 1% different to start to fast track what you're doing really will put you head and shoulders above your peers. And if you stick with it, I almost guarantee it will double your productivity in whatever program you're using. And it's why when I'm teaching PowerPoint, this is the single most important thing I can teach you in the shortest period of time for you to get immediate results in the program. So that's why we're doing this shortcuts um, course today. And the more you use it, one of the benefits of shortcuts, the more you start to check off the days of using shortcuts to fast track your tasks, all right, the more confidence you're gonna build, the faster you're gonna become, um, and the more shortcuts you're gonna then be able to absorb and learn, or you're gonna be encouraged to learn more because you're gonna see so much improvement in your daily work life. And your humble goal should seriously be to fast track or shortcut 80% of everything that you do in PowerPoint. So. Just imagine that eight out of 10 activities you do in PowerPoint, you think it, your fingers hit a shortcut, and you're on to the next task. That should be your humble goal inside of PowerPoint. 